This is a free Windows App Store, which will allow us to install more than 500 apps with just one click of a button. Not only that, it will also update those apps and also other apps that we already have installed on our computer. I wouldn't say that this will replace the Windows official store, but it will definitely be a great complement, especially for those that just fresh installed Windows and you want to install, for example, OBS or Google Chrome or 7-Zip, DaVinci Resolve and many any more apps and instead of searching the app on the website and then downloading and installing chances are that you are going to find it here just press one button and you will have the app here. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And that's great. So let's go at our browser and we just need to search for patch my PC home go to their official page it is completely free we just need to click the download button install the app and that is it once we have installed just open the app and you will see a list of installed apps and available apps for installation now since there are more than 500 apps i will not go through all of them but some of those that for me are must haves include obs 7zip crystal disk mark davinci resolve google chrome rufuge steam and even some office suit like the open office or lib office now on this group of apps if you have ever downloaded and installed davinci resolve for example you know that besides the download button you will need to register yourself to receive the link and then download so there is a lot of time involved in installing a lot of these apps one of them being DaVinci Resolve and like this with just one click I have DaVinci Resolve working along with all the other apps that you just have seen. Now there is one that is outdated which is OBS and at the time of the recording of the video I was actually recording the video so I was not able to update OBS so that you could see and I just updated a few moments ago when I was recording my Puchkis video. So it's easy as this we just need to press one button it will update the app and that is it. Now Besides installing apps and updating, there are also a few other additional features. We can select, for example, the silent installation mode, which will not show any pop-ups during the installation, which was my case. It will also be able to remove automatically the desktop shortcuts that it creates after the installation. Mine was turned off, I believe, when I was recording the screen. We can also remove any app directly from the menu. We just need to press on install and it will remove that app. And there's also one option that I honestly don't use, but might be useful for someone, which is the Shadow Updates for Installed apps. Now this is not the first time that we take a look at Patch My PC, but the last time that we took a look at it, it was completely different. So it had a revamp, completely revamped. I will try to leave the link down below just in case you are curious and you want to check out the last version that we checked out. Truth be told that it adds a lot more features, a lot more options and honestly I'm a bit confused in telling you if that was best or if this is the best. Now in my opinion this right now it's a lot easier so anyone at all will be able to open the app and it will understand really easily what it's intended to just pressing one two buttons and that is it. In terms of the options it lacks a few of the options that it had in the past so the link will be down below just in case you want to compare it just for fun but hopefully this video was helpful especially if you just cleaned up your PC, a new fresh Windows installation and you want to start installing your apps. Now in my particular case this is the Asus ZenBook S14 which is one of the laptops that I did test out for the past two weeks or so and one of the things that happens here on this channel is that from time to time I do have a new computer, a new laptop to test out and I want to install the apps like DaVinci Resolve to test out video editing performance and so on and with tools like this one right over here it saves me a lot of time and hopefully it will save you some time as well. If that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.